Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday and I love unboxing fashion with all of you. Except today, I can't unbox anything because my closet is literally stuffed to the brim. There is no more room. So it's time for a closet cleanse. I have ditched the hair, I have ditched the makeup, I have even ditched my good lighting so that I can get in here, get down, get dirty, and get rid of some stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm ready to dive in, although I have no idea what I'm doing here. I've done a um, little bit of a closet cleansy kind of thing once before on my channel where I got rid of some skirts. And like I've gone through my closet obviously several times since then, but I don't even know where to start. I think I'm going to start with the store that's right behind me here because it's overflowing. There are new things that I need to put in here. I just got those two new tops from Stitch Fix. They need to go in the store, and there's just there's just not any more room. I've Marie kondo that drawer before, and here we are again. So, so much for once you go Marie, you'll never go back. Um, <laughs> that's clearly not the case for me. There's just too much stuff. So, I don't know how far I'll get in this video because I don't want to make it too long. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of go through, touch everything, and then decide whether I'm going to keep it, sell it, or donate it. So, here we go. There's some things in here I don't even know exactly what to do with, like these three tank tops. I just got these on Amazon recently to go under some um, wrap tops that I have that are a little bit um, too open, and these are cropped, and they're really great, but they're also kind of not designed to be folded and put into this drawer, so I'm just going to set these aside for now. Maybe I'm just going to stuff them here with, in here with these bras and come back to them later. This doesn't even belong here. This is a romper that I got in an Amazon um, a personal shopper box and um, actually now that I'm looking at it I have it it's not actually one of my favorites it's something that I just kind of throw on when I am looking for something to just throw on so I think I'm gonna put this in the cell pile I don't even know where to start piles at I'm just gonna throw it on the floor all right this is one of my favorite shirts right here but it's gotten a little bit tight through here because I gained some weight along the back and so I'm not sure if I'm ready to give this up or not. I might have to try this on, so I may have to start one extra pile for try on. I'm just gonna open this up and suck these here because these are pieces I'm keeping. White tea I just got keeping. Okay, so you guys know from my last video, I have recently spent a lot of time trying to figure out what my style is and what my style isn't. And so some of the pieces that are in my drawers, I just have to look at them and think, okay, I like this piece, but does it fit my aesthetic? I'm going to say yes on this one, so I think I'm going to keep this, although I think I need to try it on to make sure that it still fits properly. So I'm going to put this in the same pile with my needle shirt. This is a Michael Starr shirt that I got through Ever Eve, I believe, and I really love Michael Starr's, but what I really don't like about Michael Starr's is their material pills so quickly. So even though I really love this shirt, this one's going to actually go to giveaway because the pilling on it is just driving me crazy. So this is a shirt that I got um, when I was working at Tommy John, and I love it. It says women of substance on it, but my concern is that it probably does not fit, so I'm going to try this one on. Okay, this is a shirt that I picked up at the Hard Rock in Mexico, and I love it. I just don't know what size it is, so I have no idea whether or not it fits. Um, I've worn it once or twice. I think I would wear it more if I knew what size it was because sometimes I think I just don't pick it up because I think, oh, it's probably not going to fit. So let me try that one on. I have a few baseball shirts. My husband is a baseball fanatic and so I keep them on hand for the times we go to spring training games or we go to some other baseball game um, just so that I can, you know, be dressed appropriately. <laughs> we just sometimes have things that we want to go to that, you know, we want to have on our baseball tees or whatever. So 
Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this one, I believe. No, it's a medium. I should probably try it on. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit, but I'm gonna try it on. Um, if it fits, I will keep it because the reasons I just said, but I don't want it to take up real estate in my drawer of like things that I actually reach for all the time. So I may have to find somewhere else to store this. This shirt as well, super, super cute. I got this at Disneyland when I went last year for the first time in like, I don't know, over a decade. And I love it because it says icon. Um, I'm keeping it. That's just all there is to it. I love it, it feels good, it's the right size. Um, it's super soft, I paid a pretty penny for it, and I'm keeping it. So I'm gonna fold that back up to put back in my drawer. Okay, so, so far these are the short sleeve tees that I'm definitely keeping. I've got um, a white here, two white ones. This one is a cause t-shirt that I wear quite a bit to remind people to um, give to this organization. Um, my new Phenomenally Black shirt that I just recently got um, in support of Black Lives Matter. And um, my extra shirt that I got from Amazon. I just feel like it's so appropriate of who I am. And then my iconic Minnie Mouse t-shirt. So these are all going back in the drawer for sure. And I'm not gonna really like organize these. I usually put everything in kind of in a color coordinated fashion, but I'm not gonna do that today. Oh, this shirt as well. I just got this recently. Um, it says here comes the sun, which is another Beatles reference. My husband just bought me this, so I know it fits. Um, and that's, that's going back in. Okay. What else do I have in here? 41 Hawthorne t-shirt. I'm going to see if this fits. Try on. Two tanks here. Oh, this t-shirt I just got. This goes back in the drawer. This is my Z Supply T tank I just got, so that's going to be stain. I also need to figure out a better way to fold said tanks. This just isn't working for me. All right, I have some three quarter length pieces in here that I'm gonna go through really quick. I have about six, six or seven shirts in here that I'm gonna go through. Okay, this is a really cute shirt that I got somewhere. Anyways, it's, it's got some like faux leather detailing um, or for, faux suede detailing at the pocket and I think, is this, yeah, it's a real pocket, and at the sleeve. Um, I really love this shirt, but it is a small, and I know it's gonna be too tight, so this is gonna go on the sell pile. This is another great shirt. I think I got this from Stitch Fix. I love it. I love the um, little pop of color on here. However, it is beginning to pill um, and just kind of get a little fuzzy and worn down, so this is going to make it away. Okay, the try-on pile is getting pretty big here. I've got all this stuff that needs to be tried on so I can decide if I'm gonna keep it. I have two things in the sell pile and two things in the giveaway pile, so I don't know if I'm really getting anywhere or not, but we're gonna carry on. I'm gonna move on to some tank tops.
Okay, this is an example of something that just needs to be gone because it's not damaged, but it was never sewn right. So this is a little um, tank to wear underneath, uh, like maybe a sheer top or something. The problem with this piece was that the strap was sewn incorrectly and so it's always been twisted so every time I wear it it's twisted in the back I can't feel it but it's just wrong I have another top that's very similar to this so I don't feel the need to keep this one I'm just gonna put this in the giveaway pile Okay, this is an example of something I just should have never bought, but I think I kept it because I had a styling fee involved in it. I got this from Fashion. This is by Naked Zebra. The sizing is great. Um, it has these little pearl details on the straps, and there's really nothing particularly wrong with this top. I just don't like it. Um, I feel like the coloring is just, I don't know, just not really me. And my problem with this tank is that it has to be worn on its own because of the de the pearl detailing on it and so it makes it hard to put like a jacket or something over it because then it you know kind of pops through the shoulder so just this is a piece I never run to so I'm going to put this on my sale pile Okay, you guys, I have moved through this entire drawer. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tees that I'm definitely keeping. And I have three tank tops that I'm definitely keeping. Um, so there's that. I've got this huge pile of things that is, um, are things that I need to try on. So I'm gonna do that before I go any further so I can figure out how much room is gonna be left in this drawer, fold everything up, put it back, and I'll be back to move on. Okay, you guys, so a little time has elapsed since I was last on camera. Like, the power went out in my house. <laughs> I tried on, like, a million things in the dark. And um, I folded everything up and put it back in the drawer. So, yeah. Um, the good news is that my pile of things that are going to be sold or given away has gotten much larger. The bad news is that the pile of things that are going to be sold or given away is much larger. Um, a lot of things that I was thinking were going to fit do not fit. Um, and I was a little sad about having to let some things go. So I guess I didn't have to worry about like trying to find a place to put the baseball shirts because neither one of them fit. Um, yeah, so I'm down to a nice little neat pile of things that are going back in this drawer. I went ahead and hung up two shirts that were in the drawer that really just didn't need to be folded. Um, I just went ahead and found some space and squished them into the closet with the hope that I'm gonna clear some more things out of here. So shall we carry on? Let's do it. Okay, you guys, now that this drawer can close, I'm going to go to the next drawer below it. I think, oh, it's stuck because I have shoes down here. Um, I'll have to give you guys a closet tour at some point in time, but. Um, there's not a whole lot in this drawer, so I'm just going to go through it really quickly and decide what I'm keeping and decide what is going to away. Okay, that was it. It was really quick. Literally, everything's going away. So I'm gonna move on to, actually, I'm gonna move into, um, I've got a storage here that I'm gonna move into. So let me move the camera and then um, we'll go through some of those sweaters because those are long sleeve items that um, I'll need to clear out for fall and winter. Okay, so I have a storage, like a hanging storage, that I keep um, sweaters and stuff in really like bulky items because they're too bulky to keep in a drawer. But I also don't want to hang them so that, you know, they get like weird things in the shoulders. So I store them in this hanging bag here. So I'm going to go through those really quick.
so the thing is a lot of these sweaters I've had honestly for years sweaters are not something I pick up on the regular because I honestly don't like winter weather and I don't like dressing for winter and so I just end up picking up things as I go along um, when I get too cold um, I just hate being cold and so I'll pick up almost anything to get warmer um, so I really need to try on most everything that I pulled out of this bag with the exception of like two things this shirt here is definitely going to pick this up on a whim um, yeah so I'm gonna try everything else on and I'll be back to let you know what I keep okay I've tried on quite a few things so far but here's one of the very first sweaters that I'm going to be keeping I love this sweater because it's a little bit oversized it's not as oversized as it was when I first purchased it which was like back in I don't know it's been about four or five years since I got this um, I bought it at Old Navy um, on a clearance sale it was about I think like five dollars because it was end of season but I was getting ready, ready to travel somewhere where it was going to be colder so um, I got a great deal on it this turtleneck kind of um, top here works for me I'm not really a big fan of turtlenecks but because this one is loose and kind of you know doing its thing here I, I enjoy it. I also love the fact that the sleeve on this, or sorry, that the shoulder on this like comes down a little further so it sits well on the arms. Um, it's long enough on my arm length, which is great. And while of course these leggings aren't the best example of what to wear it with, it tucks nicely into jeans if I needed to or dresses up with a, like a pair of trousers. So yeah, this is a really great piece. It also didn't till a lot. It's just, just starting to like maybe get a little you know, a few fuzzies, so it'll at least make it one more season, if not two, and yeah, this was a great piece. This is a great example of getting your cost per wear out of it, so I love this, and I will be keeping this for the 2020 winter season. Here's another sweater that I'm going to be keeping. It probably has half a season left in it before the pilling starts to drive me nuts. Um, but I love this salt and pepper kind of color to it. It has this cool open knitting here along the sleeve. So this is that's my skin tone underneath there. Um, it fits well across the um, across the neckline. Um, it has a high low hem on it, and yeah, it's it's still very comfortable, and I, I do like this piece. I love to pair it up with like a long necklace or something, so I feel like I've got at least half a season left in this. I don't remember exactly where this came from, if this was a Stitch Fix treasure or if this came from maybe like a Transcend. I'm not sure, but in any event, it's safe. Okay, another sweater that is going nowhere. This is going to be a great fall piece is this kind of lavender sweater, off the shoulder sweater by Free People. I got this, I think, either last year or year before last. I love the way that it kind of hits on across the midsection, so it kind of does this um, very drapey, you know, um, fall to it. Um, the oversizedness of it makes it perfect for when you don't know what size you're going to be. This is actually a small that I have on, but if you're familiar with the brand Free People, you know that everything kind of runs a little bit, well not everything, but most, a lot of things run um, uh, larger than, than actual size, including this top obviously. I'm really looking forward to wearing it uh, with the little crop tops that I've purchased, um, so that way I don't have to have my bra straps out, so this is going to be a great fall piece. So I bought this Betsy Johnson sweater late into the season, so I never really got a chance to wear it. I think I wore it once. So I'm looking forward to wearing it um, in this upcoming season, but I just absolutely love this leopard print on it. Um, it looks like it's textured, but it actually isn't. It's a flat print, um, but I just love the way that this particular um, print is designed and um, the you know white cuffs give it just a little bit of starkness. I really can't wait to wear this. This is a sweatshirt I'll probably only pick up on like my off days, but I absolutely love it. It's so cozy and um, it says hello weekend on it. So it feels like it's kind of only weekend appropriate anyhow, but 
every time I wear it, people always compliment it, ask where I got it, etc., etc. Um, I think it's by Good Human, and I believe I got it in a Stitch Fix box, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that one. Um, I know I have a video on it, so I'll link it. Um, anyways, yeah, I love this. It's just, it's so cozy, but it's the perfect kind of lightweight tee it's, or sweatshirt. It's kind of perfect for throwing on over a, over a tee or a tank or whatever when you just kind of need to hurry and get out, um, but you still need to be a little bit cozy. So yeah, this is just a great weekend piece. I love a Chanel knit because it's just so cozy. This one obviously is in a black, a little bit oversized. It is a little bit boxy, but I find that once I put it on with a pair of like skinny jeans or even a pair of um, really nice uh, flare leg jeans, it just doesn't, it just gives me a, a really great proportion. So um, I love the sweater. I picked this up, I think not last year there's a dryer sheet in here that's cute um <laughs> not last year but year before last and it's just been amazingly wonderful and warm and it's worn very well um of course with chanel you do have to uh be careful about um snacking it but as long as you're careful all is well Okay, I was gifted this top last Christmas, and I'm still not sure if I like it or not. Um, it's from Target. I think it's part of their C9 kind of athletic collection. It's technically a turtleneck, but I only wear it with just like the front kind of turned down so that I can wear kind of like a cow neck um, type shirt because, like I said, I'm not really a turtle turtleneck girl. Um, but the sleeves are long enough, and it's kind of a tunic style with a high-low hem. I'll turn around so you can see the back. Is it, is it bent in? No, it's not. Okay. Um, I'm just not sure about the color or the style, if it's really like something I want to have. You know, like I have other pieces in my collection, obviously, that are kind of a blushy pink, like this one, um, which I absolutely love, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I have to really think about this particular shirt, okay. if I want to keep it or not. For now, it's in a kind of a maybe pile. I'll probably go ahead and keep it um, and then see how I feel as the season progresses. Okay, you guys, I have gone through all of my folded tops, tanks, and sweaters, and I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, I went through quite a bit. I have a um, pretty good pile of things that are going to be either sold or given away. Most of them are um, sweaters and sweatshirts and stuff. Things I really hadn't gone through those in quite some time because I wear them for such a short amount of time during the year that I just kind of forget about them and they're away in that kind of folded in that zippered bag and so I just don't think about them. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this kind of closet clean out with me. I'll definitely come back and do a part two or three or four or whatever. Um, and hopefully I'll be a little more organized. So if you guys want to see me um, style some of the pieces that I ended up keeping as far as like tees and tanks, you won't see the sweaters obviously until later in the year. Um, or if you want to weigh in on things that, you know, whether I decide to keep or not keep them, be sure to go over to my Instagram channel and follow me. Um, you guys know I'll leave it at the bottom of the screen for you so that way you can follow along and get all my style tips and advice. Um, and then be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more and be part of this party. Um, I try to drop videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, but some days things happen like the power goes out. And so if you hit that little notification bell, you know exactly when a new video drops. All right, you guys, until the next time, live with love.